Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel, episode 1529, DAX Calculate. All right, well, we're continuing with the episode from yesterday where we try to use a regular pivot table to solve this problem. Now, this data has actually come in uh, via some sort of a query, and so it's already a regular Excel table. Otherwise, we'd have to do Control T in order to convert it to a table. And we're going to try and run it through Power Pivot. Now, to use Power Pivot, you have to be on Windows, you have to be using Excel 2010. Other than that, it's free. Go to PowerPivot.com. Uh, so I have this data. We'll go to the Power Pivot tab here and create a linked table. That's going to take the data off the spreadsheet and put it into the Power Pivot grid. And I'm going to add a column here. Uh, this column is going to be equal if the scrap reason is equal to production. Then this is production. Otherwise, it's a reason. All right, we'll press enter. And what's that? That is going to actually do that calculation for all 12,000 rows in our data. We'll right click up here and rename this to be type. Okay, so we now have this new column. And what's nice is this data here uh, back in the spreadsheet gets updated. Uh, we refresh the data here, and that rule will be applied to the new data tomorrow. That's a nice feature. Okay, now from here, we're going to create a pivot table on a new worksheet. And again, we're going to put scrap reason down the left hand left hand side and quantity as the values just initially. Now we're going to create a brand new measure. A measure is a calculation that instead of happening 12,000 times once for each row in the original data, only happens for the rows here in the pivot table. So new measure, and I'm going to build this measure in a couple of steps so that we can see how it's working. I'm going to build a measure called production quantity, and that's going to be equal to the calculate function. Calculate is very similar in Excel to sum ifs. We specify some column that we want to add up and then some filters to apply. So the column that we want to add is the sum of quantity. All right, and then the filter. The filter is we're going to look at that table scrap data uh, scrap reason equal to in quotes production. All right, so what this is doing is saying, hey, go add up all the quantity from all the records where the scrap reason is equal to, to production. And that's pretty cool. That's one thing that DAX gives us that a regular pivot table won't. A regular pivot table uh, for the bad lining row would only be able to look at the records that have bad lining. This is actually reaching out and looking beyond that, looking at all of the records. Now, let's check this formula. Okay, there's a bug, right? The tooltip covers up the results. So you have to click and hold. No errors in formula. All right, so we click OK. And what we should see now is for every single row, the production quantity is equal to this production row down here, 44489. So that is working. All right, now um, that isn't, isn't necessarily useful. I just wanted to show how it's calculating, how it's reaching out beyond uh, the, the filters that are applied to this cell. I mean, this cell has a filter where the reason has to be bad lining. It's reaching out beyond that to getting all production quantity. All right, now we can do a new measure. And we'll call this percent of production, where we say equal sum of that quantity column. divided by, and we can just use our measure, it was called production quantity. Check the formula, since it's OK, click OK. All right, and let's change that format. So we'll go to Options, Field Settings, Number Format, Percentage, two decimal places is fine, click OK. And I'm just going to come out here and do a little equal 308 divided by 44489. Make sure it's working. Six nine two three. Hey, that's great. All right, so there is our percent of production. Now, let's see what happens when we turn off uh, production. When we take that out of our filter. Look at that. It still works. All 
All right, so we're starting to field it. Uh, this DAX version is doing one better than uh, than the regular old pivot table. However, our goal still is to show the top 10 value filters, top 10. And when we ask for the top 10 items, that turns off the other filters. So we're still going to get production as one of those items. Let's sort this here. More sort options. Sort descending based on percent of production. Click OK. All right, so you see production is still showing up there. That's why I added that calculated field in the beginning. We can have a slicer now. Insert a slicer. Actually, we'll use uh, slicers horizontal. And we can turn off production here in the slicer. So we choose only reason, which it gets us those top five items. But the calculation goes away. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to our very first calculation here, production quantity. I'll right click and edit the formula. All right, so we have, we're calculating the sum of quantity and one filter is that we're limiting to just production. I need to add another filter and this filter is kind of wild. It's another filter that's, that is actually unfiltering. We end up with more records uh, using this. And so what we're going to say is that we want all and then a column name. And I'm going to start with uh, table scrap data. I want all type. All right, so we start out by saying we want all the quantity records, but hey, go beyond any other filters applied and give us everything in the type column and then do a second filter, look at the scrap reason column is equal to production. We'll check the formula. No errors. Uh, it's funny the tooltip is gone now. Click OK. So now our percent of production is working. Uh, we're filtered down to just reason. Life is good. A couple of things uh, from here. We don't need sum of quantity anymore. I'm going to uncheck that. We don't need production quantity. We understand how that's working, so I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, production and reason, I would like to have that in two columns. So we'll select that slicer. Two columns. I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. Hey, what's up with that? There's have a mind of their own. They always try and resize. So here, take it, drag it outside of the bounding box, get rid of the bounding box. Now it's a regular old slicer and you get control over where it's going to be. Actually, we don't want anyone turning production back on. I'm going to move that out to Z99 so no one sees it. But by moving it out, I get to have control. All right, so we now have our top five items and we should be good to go. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Mr. Exit.